Hi everyone. It goes without saying that it's that time of the year where we can't scroll through our social media timelines without seeing endless amounts of FPL drafts. I've been creating FPL content for over 12 years and have often wondered if you aggregated the countless number of FPL Twitter drafts, what would we end up with? To my knowledge, there isn't a social tool that allows me to do that right now. So I decided to do the next best thing. I reached out to some content creators on an individual basis in order to piece together a content creators 15. What could possibly go wrong? However, before we get into it, there are some important caveats I'd like to mention. So it's FPL rules, the budget is 100 million, and only three players are allowed from the same team. Also, just because a content creator has picked a player for this mock-up, it doesn't mean that they'll include that player by default in their own FPL team. The content creators were not able to consult with each other on the picks. It was all done in isolation. This is essentially an FPL social experiment. Each content creator could only pick one player, and as the draft progressed, the remaining content creators were able to see the overall players picked. Obviously, some content creators had more options to choose from, and some had less due to the budgetary restrictions. Lastly, so that FPL rules were maintained, I had to carefully steer the ship, as it were, to ensure that the parameters were met. The results are very interesting, as you'll see. So without further ado, let's get straight into it, starting with the most expensive players picked to the cheapest. Here is the content creators 15. Enjoy. We start off with a maximum budget, £100 million. To get us going, we have FPL Fran. He's picked Mr Inevitable, Erling Haaland, who scored 217 points last season. FPL Fran says, sit back and enjoy Haaland. The market seem to be projecting a bit of a decline for Salah. So why not back the best player in the game and not have to suffer in game week two either? In he comes. The budget is now at £85 million. Moving on to our next pick, which was selected by Praz FPL, he's gone for Saka, who is now priced at £10 million. Praz says he's expecting another big season for him and Arsenal, and arguably Saka is possibly the best game week one captain too. So let's get him in. We now have £75 million cash in the bank. The next player was chosen by the Finnish Fabio Borges, better known as Marku Ohala, who is a bona fide top 10 Hall of Fame manager. He's chosen Bruno Fernandes and says, pens, set pieces and minutes, what's not to like? Other than his teammates can't score from his passes. With that seal of approval, he's now added into our content creators team. The budget sits at £66.5 million. Up next is FPL Meerkat. He selected Alexander Isak as his pick, who registered 25 goal involvements last season. FPL Meerkat says Isak is the only player who hasn't left a single one of his drafts, second highest for XG per 90 last season, on penalties most of the time, the best fixture possible for game week one against Southampton at home. Isak has to be in there for him. So with that said, in he comes. We now have £58 million with 11 players still to pick. Our next pick is from the legendary FPL rock star. He's picked Anthony Gordon and says, with Newcastle United's great early fixtures, he likes the attacking double up with consistent returns and he's a safe pick to start the season. So with that said, he's now locked into this draft. Just over half of the budget remains with 10 to go. Moving on to our next pick, which was selected by FPL Juice, they've gone for Trent Alexander-Arnold. The re reason being that it's his lowest price tag in five seasons. Last season, he struggled with injuries, but we know he's capable of a 200 plus point season, as proven before. Set pieces, great opening fixtures, plus will be looking to prove a point after the limited number of minutes given to him by Southgate at the Euros. In he comes. 43 and a half million left. The next player was chosen by FPL Brandon and it's Eze from Crystal Palace. Brandon says, I don't think he's been removed from any of my drafts yet. At 7 million, he's amazing value. As Crystal Palace's talisman, he's in all set pieces, including penalties and free kicks. What more can you ask for? Now added into our team. We now have 36 and a half million in the bank with eight to go and we've officially entered budget territory. Up next is the former 
FPL world number one from the 23-24 season, who was top of the rankings in the latter stages of last season. That's FPL Tom Hadley. He's gone for a differential pick. Tom says, I'm backing Munoz, super attacking in an exciting team, impressed me last season and also has low ownership, surely do a goal. I hope so too, as he's a starter for this team. 31 and a half million with seven to go. On to our next pick, which is chosen by FPL YouTuber Nathan Bacon. He's gone for Morgan Rogers of Aston Villa. Nathan says he is a Villa attacker getting good minutes for only five million pounds. Great gem to balance the rest of the squad. Let's lock him in as our fifth midfielder. There's now 26 and a half million in the bank with six to go. FPL Prem Tipster has selected our next player and he's gone for Henderson. And it means we have a Crystal Palace double up for the back line. FPL Prem Tipster says Palace were fourth best for expected goals conceded in the whole um, of the Premier League last season. And they open up with favourable fixtures from a defensive perspective. He's now confirmed into our starting team. 22 million to go now. Up next, it's FPL Tips and they've gone for Mikalenko. Everton kept 13 clean sheets last season, matching Man City and trailing only Arsenal's 18. Early home ties with Brighton, Bournemouth and Crystal Palace offer strong prospects for more. And with that, we've locked in our last pick for the starting 11. But with 17 and a half million left in the bank, we still have our bench options to go. The next player was chosen by former world number two from the 23-24 season, FPL Chai. He's gone for a goalkeeper pick and has opted for Flecken. FPL Chai says he rotates nicely with Henderson for some of the initial fixtures. For example, game week three, game week seven, game week nine. Palace have Chelsea, Liverpool, Tottenham, whereas Flecken has Southampton, Wolves and Ipswich for the same corresponding matches. 13 million now left. We're almost there. On to our next pick, which was chosen by serial top 10k finisher and resident FPL expert, it's FPL Fly, with a budget defender that is flying under the radar. Fly says, my four and a half million pound defensive pick is Ipswich Town's Leif Davis, an attacking left back with two goals and 18 assists last season in the Tractor Boys promotion winning season. Eight and a half million to go. Our penultimate pick is chosen by yours truly. I actually had choice of the first pick and decided to go for a super budget forward option for tactical reasons. So we all need some dud sub cannon fodder, pardon the pun. So in comes as our perennial sub three cannon, but more importantly, I wanted to force a 352 formation as I think that this is the most optimal way to unlock value across the squad. So on to the final pick, last but not least, with four million to go for a budget defender. This was chosen by FPL Air. He's gone for a player flying under the radar and it's Barco from Brighton. He says Estupinen is out injured until September and Barco is looking likely to play left wing back. What more can you ask from a four million pound defender? So there you have it. That completes our content creators 15. To recap, our starting 11 contains Henderson, Alexander Arnold, Munoz, Mikalenko, Saka, Bruno, Gordon, Eze and Rogers with a front line of Haaland and Isak. And our bench consists of Flecken, Barco, Davis and Cannon. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Once again, a special thanks to all of the content creators with their picks in helping me create this Content Creators 15 ahead of the 24-25 season. And as always, if you're able to like, share and subscribe, that will be greatly appreciated. Take care and all the best.